You know, after my service in the Army stopped, I got into the mortgage business as a loan originator. And I can recall back in my mortgage originating days when my business was going pretty well. And I knew that I was also just, you know, this close to an amazing amount of success. I mean, I, I could just feel it. But I also knew that I had worked hard to get to that point by really focusing on getting business to come to me in the form of referrals. And, you know, no matter what sales profession that you are in, what I'm about to tell you is a very, very important principle. You see, I was lucky enough at an early stage of my career to be introduced to the 80-20 rule. Maybe you've heard of it. It's the old saying about sales that says about 80% of your results come from about 20% of your efforts, which means that the other 80% of your efforts are pretty much nearly in vain. So the 80-20 rule, which is actually known as something known as the Pareto principle, um, by some really smart people who do stats can actually be used in many different ways in the business world. Now, in some companies, it means that 80% of the sales come from 20% of the employees. And for those employees, 80% of their production comes from 20% of their clients. On the marketing side, it means that 80% of new business is brought in by 20% of your marketing efforts. So in my experience, I found that I spent about 80% of my time and efforts chasing down customers, but only 20% of my time actually serving them. And what I noticed is it just wasn't very fulfilling. So I decided early on that I wanted to kind of reverse that role. I wanted to, I really wanted to spend about 20% or less of my time looking for new customers so that I could focus 80% or more of my time serving my clients, making sure that they were getting everything they needed and more. Now, by the way, I discovered a really great added benefit to this type of thinking. It actually resulted in my clients sending me even more business. Now, in order to achieve my goal, I eventually made the decision to make my business entirely you know, referral-based by building a network of business professionals that could help me while I was focused on helping them. Now, obviously, I had to build a pretty big network before you know I saw things change. But fortunately for me, it was a principle that I was really dedicated to. And with a lot of hard work, I slowly saw my solicitation to service ratio shift from 80-20 to 70-30 to 60-40 until I reached the point where I could comfortably just spend the majority of my time serving my existing clients instead of chasing new ones, relying pretty much solely on the referrals provided to me by my business network you know, and my clients. And I can tell you from personal experience that when we installed this program internally with our entire origination staff, so all of our salespeople, so we had each salesperson go out and create their own individual network group that within six months, production for each of them had far exceeded even their own expectations. And best of all, most of their business was coming from referrals versus you know, cold calling or dealing with the, the tire kickers. You know, uh, And as a side note, and an added benefit, this almost always resulted in less hours worked and more time with family and friends for all of the employees. So let me tell you, you know, there's nothing more satisfying and liberating. You know, business became fun and, and satisfying for everyone because, you know, they now were dealing with people who knew and trusted others enough to do business with them minus the typical concern of losing them to shopping around. And it was, it was more liberating because, you know, everyone was in control of their own leads, which made them less reliant on the company, which of course made them more independent. And it reminds me of something a really friendly waiter in Cancun once told me. He said, as they say in Mexico, he who has the pesos has the say-sos. What I mean is, Having that type of control allowed everyone more freedom to spend time with family and friends while significantly increasing their income. And this, my friends, this is the epitome of working smarter, not harder. And that being said, you know, you're here to learn how to build a steady stream of referrals through building a team of local like-minded business professionals by building your very own business referral partner group. And before this class is over, 
I'm going to give you access to all of the tools that you will need to do exactly that. So please stay tuned until the end of this very short but powerful course.